Hello hackers, welcome to the new video where we are going to hack a user rule can be modified in a user profile. We have an admin panel at slash admin and it's only accessible to the logged in users with a rule ID of 2. So in here we have a very interesting information. So first we don't have to fast the application to find the hidden directory of the administrator because it's provided to us in here which is slash admin and also he said that in the user class we have extra field called the rule ID that definitely limit your permissions as a regular user. So together we will see how to access to this rule ID and see if there is any vulnerability that make us able to change or modify this rule ID to 2 so represent our account as an administrator user and gain more permissions and more functionalities. So in this lab, our duty is to delete the user catalyst and they provide us a credential of winner and password of Peter. So guys, before moving forward, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video and let's start. And here we go guys. So first, let me activate Foxy Proxy. I'm using Community Edition and then let's go to Enterspect, Enterspect twice and then go to HTTP history. So first, let me check the slash admin panel. So let me go in here and let me say slash admin and let me see what I'm going to have. And as you can see, we have admin interface is only available if you log it in as an administrator. So definitely I have two interesting information. So first I have to be logged in as a user and then this user, it has to be an administrator, which means the rule ID equal to two. So let me go to my account and now let me log in as a winner and let me say password of Peter. Let me log in. So I don't need to save the credentials in here. And here we go. Now you can see guys, now I'm logged in as a winner. So let me see my profile endpoint. So maybe we can find some JSON or something. So let me go to my account in here. Now you can see I have an HTML return. So this is not a JSON. So it's very difficult to find the role ID equal to. So let me search it in here. Let's say role ID. And as you can see, zero matches. So let me remove it in here. But in here we have some update functionality. So let me try to change this email of winner. Let me say popo at mail.com in here. And let me update. And here we go. Now you can see my email is a change it. So let me check the endpoint that gives me the permission to change my account and let me discover it. And here we go. Now you can see it's my account slash change email with a post method. And as you can see guys in here, we have the return of a JSON application. So I have my username, I have my email and I have my API key. And also I have the rule ID. And you can see the rule ID is equal to one. So this is definitely a regular user. So let me send this one to repeater and let me try to make some changes. So first let me send again so I can get the JSON return and here we go. Now let me try to change my email. So let me change this one and say popohack.com and let me change. And here we go, now you can see that I updated again my email. So let me try to add extra field in this JSON body. So let me copy all this return in here and let me paste it in here and see, maybe I will get an error or something. So let me send in here. Now you can see that nothing happened, which means that the backend doesn't check the user input. So maybe I'm able to change these fields in here. So let me start with the first one is a username. Let me try to change it to popo in here. And let me see. Okay, nothing has happened. So this field isn't interesting. So let me delete it. So we already tested the email, so I don't need to test it again. So let me change my IP key here. Let me say popo hack and let me send the request and see. And here we go. Now you can see that I'm able to change my IP key. Now the interesting part, let me see if I can change this role ID to two or something. But before doing this, so let me give it an expected type now. So let's say null and let me test it and see the results. 
Okay, now he said that it's invalid parameter, so definitely he's checking this role ID. So let me change it to zero and let me see again. Now I have interesting error. So he said that the rule ID must be the range from 1 to 127. So this is very, very, very fruitful information for you as a hacker or cybersecurity researcher. You can make a test from 1 to 127 and each time you change this rule ID, you will see if you get the access as an administrator or not. So in case that I know the rule ID of administrator is two, I'm going to change this one in two and let me send. And here we go. Now you can see that I change it to two. So let me refresh in here and see what's going to happen. Now you can see that I have extra item in my nav bar. So let me just visit this one and here we go. Now you can see that I'm able to gain access to administrator panel. But before moving forward guys, let me try to change this one to three and see what kind of permission I'm going to have. So let's send. So he said that invalid rule ID for a winner. Let's say four. So I only have the permission here to change my rule ID from one to two. Let me refresh the page again. And now let me delete the user callus. And here we go, guys. Now we finally solved the lab. So if you like this video and my content, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video. And if you have any comment or need any help, put it in the comment below and stay tuned to the next videos.